Yeah, my people, we are still in April. Is it April 15th or 16th? I really don't know. What does it matter? It doesn't really matter. What matters is the fact that uh, we are still existing because uh, I think the government has extended stay at home for another two weeks. They say it's for our own good. I don't know if what they are doing is right or wrong, but uh, the thing we see here, they are foreign, they are following foreign script. But our climb is a different area. Question is, yeah, we know the devastating effect of the coronavirus globally. A lot of people have lost their life. But the question I want to ask is, uh, you will see among the people losing their life, uh, the elderly, the fragile people who are susceptible to cold because uh, the virus uh, is airborne. So, but what we may want to say is that uh, do you now freeze all economic activities because of a common virus. I don't know, we think uh, civilization should have gotten past this now. So we think uh, there should be creative thinking as to how to resolve this issue. Not shutting down economic activities and saying no, only skeletal services can happen. Because the implication of this is going to dovetail at the end of the year when you are taking stock as to economic activities within each uh, uh, domain, starting from uh, our own individual entrepreneurs, our own individual households, companies, brands all over the world. It's going to reverberate because bottom line, uh, apart from a few creative people or a few people who are still into making sales or trading, nothing is really happening. How do you want to shut up economic? We are still alive. Everybody is going to die. What we think is uh, you have now created a monster out of something that is not supposed to be a big issue. What will have happened is to allow maybe the street movement put in a curfew during the night, but uh, I think everybody is still supposed to be allowed to go over for his business, maybe you minimize overloading of vehicles and things like that. That could make a lot of sense. Because the government here isn't giving us any dime. They aren't giving us a dime to feed ourselves, but they expect us to stay at home. How is that going to happen? It's like trying to control the universe and say birds cannot fly. They should stay at home because of disease. I really don't know because conspiracy theory said uh, this disease was created somewhere in Wahoo in China by some scientists, but well, who is going to know that? We don't have evidence. What you don't have evidence cannot be proven. And what can be proven cannot be said to be true. We are supposed to be scientific in our thinking, not religious in our thinking. It's only religion that cannot be questioned. When it comes to science, you must have evidence. Because before you are pronounced guilty or not guilty, the evidence must overwhelm and it must speak for itself. That's the way. I think the world should take it another way and try to open up. If they open up and everybody should maybe self-isolate, if you think you have a problem, that could make a lot of sense. If you self-isolate, it will reduce the burden on the economy and things will flourish. That's the way it is.